I am still eagerly awaiting the upcoming series of Queer Kid stuff. All Lindsay's been doing recently is pissing on about unicorns and the National Geographic. But it's okay, because season one still had plenty of complete and utter wank to sate our grubby little appetites. So let ring, Lindsay. It's okay to be gay. Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Lindsay, and this is my best friend Teddy, and today we're going to talk about gender. Gender? Awesome! I've got one of those, so I should be able to relate to this episode. Right, first off, that is a terrible cup of tea. If it comes out as white as chalk, you've added too much milk. You're a fucking barbarian, Lindsay, and I bet you put the milk in first. Disgusting. One big family. Gay means happy. Yeah, that's right. Pour your scalding hot tea out onto the table and make pictures with it, kids. Absolutely mental. You don't know the damage you're doing to the youth of today. You see that there? That isn't the only action Lindsay's fingers have seen. <laughs> no, seriously, that is just lazy craftsmanship. You are enough here at Queer Kid Stuff. Oh, I fucking hate you, Teddy. Lindsay? Yes, Teddy? You're a girl, right? Well, this is awkward, isn't it? How long have you two been working together? Shit, man, you should have learned her gender by now. But no, you probably don't even talk to anyone, do you, Teddy? You just walk on set and head straight to your trailer. Don't even stop and say good morning. You're such a fucking diva. That's right. Why do you ask? Well, you have short hair and you're wearing a tie. I thought only boys have short hair and wear ties. Whoa, mate! Lindsay's about to open a can of fuck on your furry ass right now. You watch, there's gonna be stuffing flying everywhere. You make a really good point, Teddy, but just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I can't wear those things too, or anything else that I want to wear. Well, a fucking bra would be a good place to start, you saggy titted wench. You look like an accountant who's given up on life. If they want, girls can have short hair or long hair. Now you look like an accountant who's trying too hard. Or wear tiaras. Or bow ties. Actually, the only people who can get away with wearing bow ties are little boys and very old men, excluding tuxedos, of course. No one else should even try. You can wear whatever you want, no matter if you're a boy or a girl. Yeah, but we are talking about little kids here, aren't we? So we're talking more Spider-Man costume rather than cross-dressing, aren't we? Aren't we? But boys can't wear dresses, can they? Well, why not? Other little boys are a pretty good reason. Kids don't give a fuck about liberalism, man. They will roast his ass. You should wear whatever clothes make you feel like the best version of yourself. It's the same for colors and toys, too. So I can do blackface if it makes me feel comfortable, Lindsay. Is that what you're saying? That's fine. As long as I feel like the best version of me, I can wear a coat made out of your skin. Good to know. You can like whatever color or toy that makes you happy. But Lindsay... I still don't know if I'm a boy or a girl. That's because you're a fucking toy, Teddy. You don't have a soul. Well, Teddy, did you know that some people aren't boys or girls? Fuck off, are you bringing the children into the non-binary argument? Fucking hell, Lindsay. You're like an African warlord, raising a child army of social justice warriors. Some people are boys. Some people are girls. Yeah, it's close to 50-50 on that one, really, so I'm guessing I'm about to be pissed off by what comes next. And some people are people. Hold up, doesn't that imply boys and girls aren't people? Is this subliminal propaganda, Lindsay? Are you low-key suggesting that those you consider to be cis should not be considered people? I'm telling you guys, she's raising an army. Lindsay wants war, and her main advisor will be that teddy bear bastard. There are also people who are trans or transgender. People who are trans do not identify with the gender doctors tell them they are when they are born. The gender doctors tell them they are? Lindsay, you do know we can tell the gender of a nipper when it's still in the womb. 
Between 16 and 20 weeks, the sonographer, because that's what they're called, will give you an ultrasound scan and will look for a teeny tiny baby cock. Or you can tell by the blood of the mum-to-be if, you know, teeny tiny baby cocks aren't your thing. And all of this is before anyone can get their nasty social conditioning hands on it. But we're going to talk about what it means to be trans in a later episode. As in trans kids, yeah? It's good to know there's a constant stream of bullshit coming from this channel. It pays my bills. Okay. I think I understand. But all of this is a little confusing. Oh, get your shit together, Teddy. It isn't rocket surgery. Lindsay looks down on you in contempt. If there are boys and girls and people and all of them can wear ties and dresses, then how can I tell who is what gender? Flip a coin, Teddy, because that's how some of them decide when they wake up in the morning. What gender am I going to be today? Oh wait, you can't flip a coin because you don't have any thumbs, you unevolved piece of shit. That's actually really easy, Teddy. All you have to do is ask someone what their pronoun is. Is it fuck though? What if they say bun or z? What gender are they then besides the attention seeking kind? A pronoun is the word you use to talk about someone when you don't use their name. Like he for boy, she for girl, and some people use they. Or it. Or fucking bun. Where the fuck did bun come from anyway? Was someone looking for inspiration for their gender one morning and just happened to live next door to a bakery? Why not do a video on that, Lindsay? Really fuck the kids up. When you meet someone, just ask them what their pronoun is. Lindsay, what's your pronoun? I use she. And shit knows why, Lindsay. You look like Harry Potter and Mickey Rourke had a fuck ugly baby. What's your pronoun, Teddy? I don't feel like a she or a he. Because you're a fucking toy, Teddy. I shouldn't even be talking to you. So I guess my pronoun is they. That's really awesome, Teddy. Okay, so now we want to know your pronoun in the comments below. Which we can no longer do, Lindsay, because you've disabled the fucking comments. What are the kids going to do now with no outlet for their non-binary transgender I'm only five but I've decided I like the D anguish? Oh well, I guess they'll just have to go back to being kids and deal with that later on in life. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, don't abuse your children, let the other kids do that for you.